care anyone who just in case. Yeah. Just in case. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Yeah. Oh, anyway. back up. I can't miss it. Can't miss it. <laughs> oh, come on. We can do it anytime. Um, <laughs> tell me something. It must be 10 years yeah. or so since you designed the exterior of the Gulf South. Yes. Is it 10 years or? Oh, it's longer. It's, it's longer. longer. I mean, we, I think it came on the market 2012 or something. So I left Volkswagen in the year 2014. I went to Audi. But before that, yeah, it, it's even when the car comes to the market, yeah, you, you finalize the design two years earlier. Right. So the, the design freeze milestone, as we call it, is uh, two years before it comes to the market. So um, that, that's a process. So it was then designed in the year 2010. Right. Yeah, so that's a long time ago. It's like 14 years ago now. No wonder you were so quick to draw it. Yeah. Back then. Yeah. And that, we're in Sardinia. It was the night of the lodge and a week from the lodge in the car. Yeah. And I was asking car designers to yeah. sketch me car. So I have a few sketches. Yes. Only seven or eight. When you were the first one I asked, you were standing near the table and I pushed over a standard local. Yeah. Nothing in it. And then sketch your car. And you sketch this amazing yeah, design. Yeah, yeah. But you probably sketch it millions of times. Now. Yeah, of course. In the let's say over the career you're 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 sketching thousands of cars. Mm. Yeah, you're thinking about it. I was my, my wife's getting sometimes upset because I'm I'm watching it all the time, you know, all yeah. the uh, magazines, there's always a car magazine, you know, yeah. <laughs> nothing else. And when I watch television, I watch mostly car things, you know, everything. But I like it so much, it's not a problem for me at all, you know, mm. I, I'm fully into it and, and I love it, you know, everything about the history, the future, um, and I love to do everything, sketching cars, uh, talking, thinking about cars, I like this, Yeah. you know, everything around. So, for the same Volkswagen right now, you're, you're yeah. a senior designer, and you're as yes. high as you got to be. Yes. So you design, you, you design you want a Golf 10 yeah. or 9 or yeah. whatever it is, right? Does that open a competition? Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah, we have a competition internally, mm. let's say. There's a, there's a whole team, yeah. We have, in Wolfsburg, we have 400 people working uh, for the design department. Everybody, each and everybody is taking a part of that. Yeah, it's not, okay, we have maybe 50 exterior designers, then we have like a certain amount of interior and HMI designers, but they're all of them. Yeah, color and trim as well, you know, and we, we are going into the world of 360 design where we have even more touch points, where we design everything. Even the t-shirts and the sneakers that yeah. you can buy here, you know, we designed them. So we are going to the whole world and uh, 360 design world and we have a whole team working on all the details. It's not me, myself, you know, that's not. Yeah, yeah. We, we need a big a big team because we have so many things to do in Wolfsburg. Yeah, we we are working worldwide on 49 uh, model lines. Just imagine, you know, mm. there are a lot of cars you never saw here in Europe. Yeah, they they are China only or maybe South American, North American only. So there's a lot of things to do, and it's not me myself. It's it's the whole team and everybody puts his part to it. You know, and comes together. And that's it, you know, my part is to moderate that. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm the coach on the bench, I'm not running in yeah. on the field, you know, if, if I compare that to football or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's somehow, um, yeah, a team effort and everybody puts his, his part to it and or her part, yeah, and, and I really I really like this, to work in a team. I'm a big team player. You know, today we talk, you know, yeah. but everybody of the team can talk to you and, and tell you similar things of his experience or her experience with the stuff that we are doing. Mm. So it's a big team effort and not a single effort. So what's, what's on the horizon? Yeah. What, what is what is more kind of his world? All electric with man design? Yes, yes. Like the ID range now is in the yeah. Yeah. design? Yeah, let's say the horizon is uh, different stages, yeah, because um, first, of course, we're going to plug in hybrids, we have them on the market already, but then second step is going electric, fully electric as well, this is the future. There are legislations around the world, let's say, they are very similar, mm. uh, different time frame, but very similar, and we are going this way, but this is the first step. The second step then is the smart car. Yeah, the smart car with all the abilities. Yeah, we are going to autonomous levels. Yeah, level five is the top. Mm. Yeah, and we are now working on level three, and then the next one is level four, and level five is 
telling you your car where to go. You don't you do you don't touch anything. Yeah, yeah. Hands -free. And this is level hands free. Let's say. Yeah. This is level five, but uh, we are working on this, and I think there have been a certain predictions when it's coming, but it came not so fast, and some people said, but uh, we will go there one day, you know, and so. That's the ultimate horizon, let's say. Mm. Uh, and, and of course, we want to go, and we are really honored a CO2 zero. Yeah, this is another goal we have to to do a circular economy, that everything works in in a in a flow. So, circular economy means we turn an interior of the car into an interior of a car, and mm. that's really not easy because then you have to have a certain a material choice, which is more of the same. Yeah, and then when you recycle that, you get the same material back, and then you can build a new one out of that. So that is our our aim as well. Yeah, it's not only uh, the the how it's driven or proposed. Let's say it's it's about the materials as well, and yeah. how to be CO two neutral as much as we can. Mm -hmm. That's another. And you're managing to do all that while keeping your current customer yeah. base which yes. time. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And which goes back a long way. I mean, all those details. Yes. Like, yeah. It was charged there from the 70s today, with yeah. heat was coming up. Yeah. They had all the chat happening too, right? Yeah, yeah, but what I found interesting is all the people here coming with the old cars from the 70s, they are, they are, they, I know these people, I'm, I'm one of them, yeah. Mm. It's, there's a love to repair old stuff, rip, keeping old stuff alive, yeah. yeah? And you, you turn into it, you, you become a part of that, you know, and, and there's a love to turn old stuff into new stuff and use it, you mm. know, and not being wasting, uh, buying and throwing away, you know, the throwaway society is not here. The, these people here are the opposite of that. Yeah. They, they love to repair old cars, restore them and keep them alive. And people who do that, do that with coffee machines as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I repaired a coffee machine at home, you know, because I'm very interested in this and how it works, you yeah. know, and you play with this and try to Try to repair it and not throw it away as mm. much as you can. And I think this is this is very sustainable when you think about That's it. That's reusing. I mean, essentially, you're yeah. consistently using the product yes. forever. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, when you have an old Italian coffee machine, it's the same. Yeah. You get all the spare parts, um, the the constructions from the 60s. It's easy to understand, yeah. and and you. You get the spare parts, you repair it, and you are proud then that you mm. made it, you know, and you drink your coffee, you have fun with this. Same with the old cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah when, when the car is broken, the engine is broken, and you make it work afterwards, it's so fantastic as a feeling for yourself. Yeah. Because sometimes you have a you have a job in the office that is boring, then you go home, you have this hobby, you, you turn something into a running thing, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. You meet these people here, yeah. Most of them are like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. And I love it. Yeah. I notice walking around. I notice they all end up in conversations yes. together yeah. about their cars, and it's all about the cars. Yeah. There are men on the ground looking yeah. under the car. <laughs> there are men under the ground. Yeah. How is that? How you? Know? So yeah. there's a fascination, and I think you suffer the yeah. same fascination. But you, you made a job on it. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. You made a, you made a career <laughs> yeah. from it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But I think there are a lot of opportunities. Yeah, when when you love something, when you love to repair stuff, for instance, you can. There are so many jobs around this. Mm. You know, and some something where you can develop a passion for it. And and there are so many important stuff. You know, is even even do the financial or do a process in the car industry is interesting. Yeah. Is you can learn a lot. You can. It's about. It's about very practical things as well. Yeah, mm. and and uh, theoretical, practical things are, are mixed here. And I think there are a lot of jobs around that that are very, very interesting. Even painting a car. You know, you have to have a lot of knowledge. You you you're half a chemist. You know, to yeah. understand what works, what not what is working. So all these people here, uh, they're into it. They they gain a lot of knowledge. Yeah, the, there's a saying from the 60s where, where uh, this is called uh, uh, Volkswagen or the Beetle is turning customers into mechanics or something, you know. Yeah, yeah. And there's some, some truth about it, you know. Mm. When, when, you, when you, I was really bad in elect electronics, so and I did a, a wire loom myself once, you know, and I needed to learn a lot. I went back to almost like the school bench and needed to learn about the basic physics, about how that works. Mm. And this is so interesting, yeah, and, and 
and so there's so much to learn even if you're older yeah you go back and want to learn it yeah yeah how to paint a car how to make the wire loom you know how to do it how how this is done you know and the especially the old cars are more simplified and they are simple because technology was simple and they they and you can learn it better but even the the current cars or cars that are only 10 years old they need a certain treatment you 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 learn a lot about them and this is great you know it's great it, you you get educated by it mm. and i love this i love and the whole you turn on her car so you went from Volkswagen to Bentley yes where it was just one car yeah every so often it's not like a yeah. lot of range of cars from yeah. Bentley I mean, he's not very machines. There's yeah. just one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, at Bentley, there are three model lines. Mm. Yeah, there, there's the Bentayga, the Continental, and the Flying Spur. So there's a lot. Let's say the team is way smaller, and the roles you're playing are more more flexible. So everybody is doing multiple jobs, let's say. Yeah. Where at Volkswagen, you have one function with 50 people, and at Bentley, this is very more yeah. limited. But it's it's super interesting, and I, I learned... I learned to love the brand as well. The brand mm. is fantastic. It was founded in a very interesting time, you know, uh, actually in the First World War when Bentley made um, a plane engine yeah. in the, for the biplanes, you know, for yeah. the um, uh, for the uh, soup with camel. Yeah, yeah. that was uh, a really beautiful engine that that was able to to run 30 hours instead of five hours. Mm. You know? That was the normal runtime in, in the First World War. Yeah. And so they, they made really reliable engines and developed certain technology, mix of aluminum and steel. And then later they put this all this knowledge into cars, from the plane engines into cars. And then they went to Le Mans and won Le Mans in a, in a row, you know. And was, <laughs> that was amazing. And all the, the wings, I love the wings of the Bentley badge, yeah. is uh, about this time, you know, when they, when they did uh, uh, plane engines in the beginning and I just love that you know you can really fall in love with this whole history of Bentley and of course there's a different audience yeah, a, a different customer group different customer but department. doesn't matter you know it doesn't matter they are very very interested in cars they have the same passion these yeah. people yeah this is a different but they have the same passion it's it's a different thing but it's it's very very um, uh, let's say fantastic as well yeah? It's, yeah it's the same level of enthusiasm you can develop for that yeah and Volkswagen is different it's more approachable but there are so many special things about it so many fans running around here exactly yeah yes yeah, an amazing amount an amazing yeah. array of people yeah yeah who came on buses and trains and yeah yes what you need to bring a car yeah came on their own yes and then you have you know, the whole customer base yeah. And to make a massive car for three, four hundred yeah. thousand, yeah. every one of them yeah. is a GTI or a Volkswagen. Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of such high regard. Yeah, yeah. It must carry a bit of a weight. Yeah. When you're sitting down to draw or design or yeah. refine or a designer comes with an idea, the yeah. weight of history yeah. that comes on top of you yeah. with design. Yeah. Is that, how much does that factor in? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, a great part of it yeah we because we have this history yeah we have the this, we see it as a as a as a like a treasure let's yeah. say yeah we have to keep this and but we have to turn it into a modern progressive piece yeah, of I course mean, it's, it's more yeah we have from the compromise. exactly yeah. we, have, we have new technologies now we can change light technology for instance but we keep the values yeah, we have really strong values. Volkswagen, for instance, was always super reliable. It was bulletproof, like mm. the Beetle. Yeah, and so the stability is something we want to bake into the design. We want to bring it into it that the people see Volkswagen as a super strong, stable piece of design. Yeah, yeah timeless, uh, undestructible. You know, when when you roll it over, the seat post is so strong designed. Yeah. You, it's not collapsing the roof. You know, it's it's everything is strong. Yeah, yeah. and that kind of strengths is something we put we are aware of that and we put it on purpose into the design mm. and other brands are different but we are like this this is us you know this is about us and then the second thing is the sympathy yeah you have to deliver the likable you know that it needs to smile it needs to give you optimistic feelings yeah yeah and then the secret sauce comes last yeah and that is something that the gti can really tell you know it's uh everyday car but it's super nice to drive your 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 boring life becomes interesting because <laughs> you drove 
the road to work maybe a thousand times, but when you drive it with the GTI, it becomes interesting. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like this is what we can add to life of people. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this is great. I think I, I really love to do this. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And you have, is it 54 models? Yeah, um, 49 model lines. Oh, yeah, model lines. 49 model lines. But there are a lot of model lines you can't get here in in Europe. Mm. Uh, we have, for instance, uh, Savero is a small pickup uh, little truck for for uh, South America, right. for Brazil. Yeah. And the Atlas here in Atlas North America? in North America. Yeah. Yes, there's the Viloran. You know, the Viloran is yeah. some sort of uh, MPV for for China. Yeah. And there are so many cars that you never saw here in Europe. But we there there are in the program yeah mm. and when you when you do the global design you have to consider all of that yeah and we have to our role as well as to moderate that to to find out what is best for the markets in the regions yeah. and we call ourselves a region as well so for us Europe is a region yeah yeah and we, we are not the big mothership or something no we are part of regions and we do it globally uh, all together you know, with the same values but with different products matching to the regions mm. yeah, and this is very important of course for instance in in, in the uk or in ireland you, you have the the steering wheel on the other side you know this yeah, is one yeah. of the things you have to do and some some regions they're like switches proper switches some other regions they they're like everything on on screens yeah, yeah and touch touch input yeah you know? It's quite like aluminium and everything. Yeah, and it's not easy. You yeah. really need to talk to everybody. You need to understand that. You 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 need to make a proper um, uh, talk like we have right yeah. now to understand uh, what what the other side is saying. Yeah, mm. we we have to do this yeah. globally, and this is interesting as well. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, ten or twelve years ago, I asked him to draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So. We're gonna, uh, he's gonna live draw now. Yeah. Uh, I was all trying to, it was about seven back then. Yeah. You can draw whatever you want now, but yeah. uh, it was about seven. And, yeah. And he didn't do GTI, he didn't draw seven. Yeah, maybe, yeah maybe, maybe I draw today a uh, Golf Mark One GTI. Mark One, yes. Yeah, Mark yeah, One. Yeah. Because we have all these Mark Ones here, and maybe maybe I do so this. There's a variety in the car yeah. as well. Maybe, maybe I, I do it when I, when I draw it for you, I try to explain how to draw cars. Yes, yeah, please, At the yeah. same time, uh, how to draw a Golf. Yeah, And that's very easy. For instance, you start with the front wheel, okay? Yeah. Front wheel. And then in between you have three wheels for the proper wheelbase and then there's wheel number four is then the rear wheel. So now this is very, very important to find out the proper, the proper wheelbase. Yeah? Then you have the center of the wheel is a little bit inside uh, to have a little bit of a perspective on the, on the wheel design. So this is what you do first. And then I'm going to the floor. The floor is lower than the center. And then on the Golf, it's very special that we have a long overhang in the front. Yeah, the car is longer in the front and shorter in the rear. Yeah, this because of the technical basis the car has. Then we have a certain very nice, no, they they're a very nice bed line. Yeah, this is what you what you need to have. And then you have to place the A post. The A post need to fit next to the wheel arch. So the Golf has the nice wheel arch. This uh, was very nice done by Jujaro in the in the uh, early 70s come 74 on the market then it has a, has a certain brake line going through and then there's the a post okay we we made it already so there is the, the front end as longer as i said then you have the 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 top of it and then you have this really strong c post that was really well done by jujao in the beginning because it was connecting the beetle to the golf with the c post yeah really strong a certain angle like a uh, opening towards the bottom very nice and then um, there was the bumper of course yeah there, there's a steel bumper in the beginning in the front and in the rear front overhang longer as i said before straight bonnet and then of course you had a had a, a brake line on the bottom as well yeah that was that was about it rear light and that's it that's the golf we need a, a b post as well so it's a two-door car in the beginning, bit perspective in it, and you have a Golf. You have a Golf Mark One. Yeah. Strong wheel arches are very important because the Golf Mark One had this additional plastic parts, made a really wide uh, track and a slim body. And I really like that as an example for me for the future 
uh, to do fox farms. Yeah, mm. it's it's good in the past and in the future, and that is a golf, a golf Mark One. Okay, that's amazing. That's it. That's for you. <laughs> okay, that's this is amazing. how to draw cars, and this is how to draw. Because yeah, signature. Kind of yeah. yeah, absolutely. Because I have the original. Uh, I still have the original home on the wall. Yeah, and that I put. Was... You know what? I, I put a. I put a. I, uh, that's your original. Yeah, that's a Mark Seven. Is yeah, I can. The wall. <laughs> it's great. Maybe I do this similar background with a VW badge in the corner. Oh yeah. Yeah, VW badge in the corner, some frame around it, and we say golf. And now we have MK1. This is the MK1. So and then Animint, and we put a, a date on it. So now we have 2024. So when we meet in 10 years, <laughs> 10 years you mark we two. remember. <laughs> but then we, I sketch a Mark 9 for you. <laughs> well, we meet in 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's amazing. That's Maybe less than 10 years, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, that's less than 10 years. Yeah, great. That's amazing. Yeah, that's Absolutely it. Amazing. Oh, I, I forgot the. Wasn't there the gas cap here That's somewhere? Like this, 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 something yeah. like this? Yeah. I think it was oh, somewhere there. Yes, yeah. I think so. <laughs> that is one up the wall, that's the other one. <laughs> Amazing. You have yeah. like, your career then, when you come back into Volkswagen. Yeah. From Volkswagen, Bentley, Volkswagen. Yeah. Now I went to Audi first, you know, yeah. when I, when I, there was a year 2014, I had the offer to go to Audi as the um, exterior design uh, leader mm. yeah so i went there and uh, i remember that that time there was a, always a sticker on the car yeah on every car is a sticker the quattro sticker on the sill yeah. because uh, somebody said i think it was mr Pich, he said like, ah you don't follow enough uh, the quattro drivetrain is is not really um, in in the news or somehow yeah, yeah. And so the manager decided to put a sticker on it right so we went there then, Mark Lichter was uh, the, the leader of design, I was doing the extra, and I said like, why not to put, to make a design that is matching to Quattro. Yeah. Quattro is, Quattro drivetrain is the first, and Ur Quattro, let's say the very first one, had this exposed wheel arches, mm -hmm. really long one, really special, giving a lot of character. And I said to Mark, let's, let, come on, let's do Quattro for all the cars, the yeah, whole yeah, portfolio. Yeah. And now you can see it. You can, every car now at Audi has this exposed um, Quattro drivetrain. Yeah. So we said, like, let's make it visible that the car is for wheel drive. And we did it for the whole, for the whole bunch of the cars. All the cars have it now, yeah. from the Q8 uh, down to the A, the A, um, what is it? The A1. Mm. The A1 has the, the, the Quattro elements as well. Yeah, <laughs> We turn it into a little rally car. Yeah, We have yeah. the picture of why not to make a little really strong rally car because we thought the A0 class was a little bit girlish. All mm. the cars are very girlish. We said, Let, let's, let's make a really strong car. Yeah. yeah, Like a little bit more meaner, aggressive, yeah. you know. And so we did and that was, that's the A1 now. But we did it for the, the whole portfolio up until the, the Q8. And when you look at the RSQ8, really powerful, really. Very, very yeah, powerful. And even the RS6, R7, they all had these really strong elements yeah. to turn it in, to give it this strong character. Mm. I mean, I seen a Hina Mini up this morning. Yeah. GTI one. Yeah. Which is just an up. Yeah. With more power, right? It's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. It's not wider or lighter. Yeah. And yes, the packaging and the stuff makes it look yeah. a little tougher. Yeah, yeah. But it's an amazing. Small, tiny changes. Yeah, yeah. In design. Yes. They a massive difference. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They do really. Sometimes you can mess up a car within two millimeter, or you can make it look great. Mm. You know, within two millimeter, the the difference between great and not good, you know, yeah, is yeah. is only very very little. Yeah, it's, it's you really the how you work it out, how you put quality into the design. Then at the end of the process is very important as well. Mm. It's not only the big idea; it's it's about the execution as well. Yeah. So are you focused now, in the, in the short term, on uh, uh, you know second generation on the cars we have, or are we getting entirely new design? Is yeah. there on cars? Is there fresh, really fresh coming out, or what are we looking at now? Yeah, I mean the 
Yeah, the, no, there, there's, we have a lot of in the pipeline, let's mm. say. Yeah, there's a lot of things coming up. Uh, we have, um, yeah, the thing is, yeah, the, the, we are working on a new generation of design right now. And sometimes to be quick, you have to do facelifts or reskins. And, but then you go through the whole cars as well. We do all new cars, we do everything right now. And it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun as well because we have a clear idea where to go, mm. what Volkswagen should be, and we put it in all the portfolio as soon as possible. Mm. And that's, uh, that's really interesting right now. We're working in a lot of regions in the world, but a lot of segments as well. So it's very, very interesting. It's never boring. It yeah. must be very exciting to, you know, we had an engine, which is yeah. at the front or yes. in the back. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Or you can mean mount it, yeah. really. Yeah. Meaning the way it was on the front and the way it yeah. was on the back. Yeah. And you had a drive shaft. Yes, yes. All yes. that's fun. Yes. I mean, you have a, a battery in the middle. Yeah. Which had the motors on the wheels all the way to the middle. Yeah, of the yeah, yeah, yeah. So, has that massively changed? I mean, you can do whatever yes. you want with this. It does, right? it does massively changing. Because what I, what I just draw, the Golf Mark 1, or the Golf basic proportion was really great because it had a long overhang in the front mm. because the front engine and a short overhang in the rear. That gave direction. Yeah. yeah. Short in the rear, long in the front. Really nice direction. So in the future, this will be gone. You, know, mm. you don't need this anymore. You can make a box. Now, yes, even. yeah, but 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 I have to say, but there's a but. It, it makes it really nice. Mm. There are a couple of things. First, for for instance, is a long wheelbase. Yeah, you, know, you get a long wheelbase because the battery capacity demands when you do a low and long battery. That is what you have to have for a proportion. So you get a long wheelbase. That makes the overhang really short. Mm. That looks really strong. Yeah, yeah. Short overhang, a wheel long wheelbase. Sort of, yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, wheels in the corners really nice. Yeah, better than in the past. Then second, for the rolling resistance, you need bigger diameter of wheels. So bigger wheels. So long wheelbase, bigger wheels. Yeah. Again, again looks better. Like yeah. a concept. Yeah, yes, concept car, concept car yeah, like a sketch. It's time trying, it's time yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the really right. the only move. problem is you sit on the battery. Yeah, when mm. you have a certain height, sit on it. When you want to do a low car, you're you're in problems. You yeah, know, yeah. you have problems. You need to step in. Yeah, you have to somewhere. you have to be clever in the package uh, to turn it into something else. There, there are solutions for that. We are working on this. It's going to be great. But I be really believe that the new proportions are way better than the old ones. Mm. It's go it's going to be better. It's easier to design. It's all down there in dynamics now for range as well, isn't it really? If you want to go far. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. It, yes, range is a big, big thing. Yeah. You're right. Uh, it's um, the, It needs to be super efficient. And so um, I know a high car has a bigger frontal area. Yeah. So we you have to keep this low. But uh, there are so many things you can do. Uh, about it and and we are doing big steps in efficiency so the cars are way more uh, aerodynamic than the ice cars but it's because of the floor already you know the battery yeah. floor makes the floor really flat and in the old days you had this uh, exhaust and the exhaust is a very clumsy uh, shape from yeah. the bottom yeah and that is past yeah now everything is flush on the bottom that helps a lot and then of course you see a lot of really good efficient cars already uh, for long mileage, yeah, we have uh, the ID7 with 700 kilometers mm. of range in in the rear world. Then at the end, when you drive on the highway here, you still have four to five hundred kilometers left. When you want to go even faster, yeah. So when you and and that is great, you know, that is a great result. And um, I think we are, you will see big gains in efficiency and in range yeah in the future you will yeah. see this so i'm i'm involved in future projects and they they are getting better and better yeah the numbers getting better and i think there's no downside anymore on electric cars it's getting so good mm. you know that you don't want to have a nice car anymore mm. i'm pretty sure it, it, yeah there's actually the sound of the yeah. or something yeah which, you know you can't away yeah it's it's nice i know but uh, you know, I was driving electric cars already for four years, mm. and when you go back on on ice cars, it's like you're you're a little bit embarrassed. You know, the <laughs> vibration and the sound actually is really. When, when you get used to no sound, you can you can listen to music, mm. you can phone, you can make a long trip. Yeah. You really enjoy this. Yeah. yeah, to phone to people, talk to people on the phone is so much better. Actually, it's uh, it's really good. Yeah, especially when something like starts up. Yeah. In a car, when you're in a diesel, yeah. and you pull up in the track and it shuts down, yeah. and the whole car is dead silent, 
Yeah, I don't even want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. yeah and, uh, I was driving once as a company car at a PHEV mm. with a um, hybrid, and I was driving electric, and then after a while, the consumption engine switched in. And uh, it was like, oh, and, uh, <laughs> it's really something that you don't want anymore, Nothing actually. More, no. no, you want the silence, you know, it's so beautiful, actually. Yeah. And you float. And what I like about it as well is when you brake the car, then you don't waste energy. You regain the Nothing energy. Enough, yeah. Recuperation is really beautiful, yeah? yeah. And and on the, I was driving the ID7 on the highway in Germany. And when you, when you, um, when you drive the car really fast, and when you let go from the, accelerator when you let go the car is floating yeah it's it's like sailing it feels like sailing yeah because the efficiency is so good and it's so quiet you know it's such a beauty in it in this traveling without wasting energy at all you know this like freewheeling towards the horizon yeah mm -hmm. and that is a nice feeling you know when you drive a car it's different to ice cars you never have this no. but on an electric car it can be really beautiful you know and this is what i'm saying you know you have to discover the beauty of of ev cars mm. there is a beauty and but i think the world is colorful there's no black and white i think there's a gray in the middle as well yeah. and you can you can you have a choice yeah you can do what, what is best part, don't know, because yeah. you can still choose a diesel, a petrol, yes. a PHG, yes. and electric. Yeah. They're all in the mix yeah. now. Yes. And I know electric eventually it will all be electric. Yeah. Kind of but by the time we reach there, yeah. we'll have discovered so much about the preservation of energy. Yeah. Like I'm saying about sailing. Yeah. I'm not opinion. I need seven yeah. flat road, take a foot off, and the car doesn't slow down. It's yeah. Just yeah, it's not slowing down. Nothing's happening. It's like, yeah. You're not doing anything, and yeah. the train goes on. Yeah. And that's the preservation that's been yeah. able to go very far yeah now, yeah without using any energy yeah exactly yeah and and when you when you consider you know nowadays we go to the gulf of mexico we drill a hole three thousand meter deep yeah. then we uh, put it on the ship the ship is driving to italy in italy we have a pipe going through the alps going to ingolstadt you know where's a raffinery and yeah. we do turn it into gasoline you know how much energy you put in this yeah you know and, and when you true, yeah. yeah when you have a solar panel on your rooftop you know you it's driving it's going directly into yeah. your car and that's beautiful as well you can yeah, you can you can create this if you're lucky, have a house and have a solar panel on top. Yeah. And not everybody has this, I know, but let's start somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Let and and then it's getting really nice. Yeah. I I, I produce myself my own fuel, and and this is a nice feeling. Yeah. yeah. I don't need this ship going around the the world to give me gasoline. Yeah. Yeah. As I don't need to have it. Yeah. And now we're putting solar panels on yeah. hotels and yes. car parks. And yes. Anywhere we get energy from that. Yes. Which is genius. I know there's a resist. I don't know why there's a resistance. Yeah, the why people don't like this idea. Yeah, I love the idea. It's really. yeah, I mean, the the thing is changing so quickly now yeah. because the solar panel industry, because it went to China and they created really cheap production places to to pump it out like in big volumes. Mm. And all around the world, the cheapest now is solar pa solar power, and it's more. It's cheaper than shoveling coal into a, into yeah, an oven. Right? Yeah, it's cheaper. So when when you go when it will go naturally this way because it's the cheapest mm. yeah? and and people will understand more and more. And you have windmills or water running down the hills. Yeah, and you have some. It's very interesting. Some you can Google this on Wikipedia. How, how many countries are there already? And there are a lot of them yeah. are already in 100 mm. percent. Yeah, in Germany we have 60 percent. I think I in the UK is around 50, 55. Yeah. I don't know Ireland, but you have 35 renewable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 25, 38 percent. Yeah, yeah. Between it's... wind and solar. Yeah, there, there, there's a lot of happening right now in this yeah. moment. All around the world is happening a lot, and so there's a chance uh, to really improve the situation of not wasting energy anymore mm. and to give a brighter future. Yeah. Mm. Not burning stuff anymore. Why not? You know, it's it's all there. Yeah. It's it's, it's it's sitting possible. there already. It's, it's not rocket science anymore. Yeah. It's very simple. Yeah. Yeah? And uh, I'm, I'm happy that our generation is, is able, to, able to deliver that. Maybe later uh, in, in history they, they say maybe it's a golden age because yeah. we, we make such a cheap energy now. Mm. And we had wars for energy, you know, and still have. Yeah. yeah and this is ugly. Yeah. I don't want to have wars. Yeah, no. You know, I want to... I want to uh, 
have the energy from my rooftop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what you're running my is very interesting. Yes, very nice. I love it to talk to Every you. Absolutely years, nice. I love that. <laughs> but doing that is for your time when you make me hard. Yeah, next time the, it will be shorter, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making it. Goes back pine or earlier. <laughs> you make it early. 